Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good day. So, hi. How are you feeling today? So, today we will look into new topic. Uh, to be exact, new subtopic 3.2 about horizontal alignment. In Bahasa, we call it as penjajaran UFO. But before that, before you can design about the horizontal alignment, make sure you know what horizontal alignment actually is. So in this subtopic, we will look into physical and geometric property of the horizontal alignment. So let us look into the overview of this horizontal alignment. Basically, horizontal alignment concern with the design of the road section as it is seen from bird eye view. Either it is a straight section or maybe a road band. So, bird eye view here refer to the top view, from the top. Right, you see the road from the plan view. Okay, but if the road band is required, what is the road band? Curve, yeah, melengkung. If this road band is required, then what is the shape? And how about the radius? When we talk about horizontal alignment, and specific into root band, it must has a radius. So what is the radius? Either it is based on a simple circular curve or maybe based on a spiral curve, which is a combination of a circular curve and transition curve. Okay, before I go further detail, now I want you to think how curve can be formed at field. First, you have to do a survey work using the satellite, probably the leveling, you have to do some surveying works. Then you have to join a few points from one point to the other uh, and also by simply connecting a two straight tangent of the circle. So basically a curve can be formed by connecting two different tangent in order to form the curve. Okay, let us look into this example which horizontal alignment or horizontal curve on horizontal plane. And this is normally we can see at um, highway, expressway where if we want to change direction, if we want to end or exit of the highway you will go through all this root alignment which this is sometime we call as spiral curve which it consists of transition curve and also simple circular curve another example interchange we call it as interchange so normally interchange will go through the simple circular curve or maybe spiral curve and just example of lokasi kawasan nahas bus express and lorry trailer di kilometer 59 jalan Kuala Lipis Merapu. Okay. The critical uh, issue of the horizontal curve is actually about safety. And normally accident will occur at the curve due to several factors. For example, higher speed, second probably because of excessive um, centrifugal force. Do you know centrifugal force? Centrifugal force is a force at a curve that force your vehicles outward. So that is why you always see that um, car or bus overturn at curve because of the centrifugal force. A simple circular curve, basically it has a radius which the symbol is R. R is the radius and this is the angle that govern this curve. Okay, so this is simple circular curve where the radius is constant along the curve from the beginning till the end and this is the angle. Okay, the formula to determine the R, the radius, is equal to V squared 
over 127 multiplied by E plus F and the answer is in meter. So what is the V? V is design speed in kilometer per hour. So if you recall in the previous subtopic, design speed is used to design the road. So what is the design speed? The design speed also um, depends on the types of terrain, either on the flat or rolling or maybe mountainous. So check what is the design speed. Then the E is super elevation. What is the super elevation? We will look into it later. And the F, F is the road surface friction. So before you can form a circular curve, you have to know the radius. The radius is very important and also the angle. Then only you can calculate the curve, the length of the curve. So basically, the curve can be formed by connecting to tangent. And let us compare between two circle, small circle and big circle. As you know, um, curve can be formed by connecting two different tangent. Let's say for this small circle, the tangent is here and here. So this is tangent. Same goes to the big circle here. So the tangent is here and for example, here. So this is the tangent. And this point, the intersection of the tangent is point of intersection. Yeah, so this is point of intersection. So where is the beginning of the curve? The beginning of the curve is, for example, for the small one is here until here. So the length of the curve is very small. But for the big one, the beginning of the curve is here and end of the curve is here and this is the length of the curve. Slightly larger or slightly longer than the small circle. And for this simple circular curve, which the radius is constant along the curve, let's say this is a central point. From here to here, from the center to the point of the curve, PC, this is the R. The R for the simple circular curve is constant along the length of the curve. Same goes to the small one. This is the center, so this is the R. Right. If you compare the R between the small circle and the large circle, the R for the small circle is less or shorter than the R for the large circle. Same goes if we want to look into the angle. This is the angle. Okay, The angle, you may use theta to indicate the angle or maybe you can use delta or maybe alpha. It depends. But you have to understand the central angle that govern the curve is central angle okay the internal angle sorry so the internal angle is equal to the external angle so this is the external angle okay so let's say let's say um okay uh, i want to connect between um, this tangent and another one is this tangent yes this is also we call as length of the curve if let's say the r is constant so that is simple circular curve okay from here till here from the beginning of the curve till the end of the curve that is what we call as length of the simple circular curve so basically the tangent is the straight road if you want to change direction, let's say uh, from 
this direction to this direction. So, you have two tangent, then you have to form a curve to connect between this area to this area. Okay, so do you understand so far?